summoned you here for a purpose? Hey YouTube world, Boshman here, back again with another review. Um, this time I'm going to be doing uh, Generation 1 Season 2 1985 tracks. Function Warrior, motto looking good is what life is all about. He has a black beam rifle, whatever that is. And he's uh, and the missile, two missile launchers and missiles. He's called by other Autobots the lousy Earth lover. Bit of info. Um, I'm going to show you today the differences between Hasbro's reissue, Takara's reissue, and I'll tell you the differences between the original 80s one as well, just in case anyone is buying a Generation 1 track loose and it says it's mint complete. There's just a couple of ways to tell. First of all, the writing on the bottom of this mould, there's no way of telling because it says exactly the same as what the original did. Hasbro 80 to 84, Takara 80 to 84, without having the um, Japan bit wrote in. The modern ha ones would have um, China instead of Japan, but they don't say it with this mould, and my original didn't say it either, so but there is a difference with the wheels this plate in the middle of the wheel on the original has little dots the reissue doesn't uh, the biggest one on this one is the wings on Hasbro's version this thing can just pull off it's just pushed on onto around that centre thing there's no screw holding it these can just fall off um, Takara's one I mean sorry the original one has screws sunken in them rings on the thing and this one has the screws but it doesn't have the rings and this is Takara's reissue book collection one see it has the screw but there's no ring around it so that's the only difference between this and Hasbro's and reissue and the original um, the reason why I bought a second tracks is because Hasbro's one I opened it brand new Transformed it three times and this happened. The foot broke there. I've looked on this one and it's also got crease marks as well. Three times from brand new. So I don't know whether Hasbro's one's plastic is inferior or that that one's like it as well. I can't see any stress marks on the Takara one but I can't tell you there isn't. <clears throat> um, the rub sign and it shows up nicely um, I'll put the Asbro one because I don't want to break it right this is also has a second mode which is the flying mode and what you do is you pull out the arms and the wings like so bring the arms forward like so then you can put the gun on the bottom like that and we we'll also put his rocket launchers on as well. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is another difference between the Takara one. It has firing missiles. The Hasbro one doesn't. But we all know that. So here is his rocket mode. Rocket mode, all right. Flying mode with the gun on the bottom. But it can you can like sort of um, pose it like this. It looks quite good actually because the gun sort of acts like it makes it look a bit hovery. But that's it for that mode really. It's not much, just the wings out. Turn it into robot mode. We want to bring back that. Reveal in the head. Um, really simple really. Pull down the legs rotate around and this is where I'm going to be careful you just flip out the feet it actually breaks it actually breaks on this sorry on this point here where it goes from that section to that section this bit that hangs out because it's just a little piece of its own so be really careful if you're buying a Hasbro reissue and it's second hand be warned it could be broken. Put his gun on. 
it's all in. The stickers are the same on these two, they're not, you haven't got them foily ones like you do have on a lot of the other Toys R Us Hasbro reissues. And there we go. Generation 1 tracks. Reiss Although they're reissues, but they are exactly the same, so they are Generation 1 tracks. <clears throat> Got another review coming up next week. A new one. So, check out that. So, Generation 1 tracks, one of my favourites. So I always wish I had him as a youngster. Because he is cool when you see him in the cartoon, and that is a pretty cool dude. So, thanks for watching. Um, like I said, I'll be back again soon. This was Mosh Man. Over and out. Would you like to bet for your lives? It sometimes helps, but not often.